Justin Mikes is your first game, a uh, regular season game, as the Lincoln Stars head coach and GM. How good did it feel to just get a regular season game after 252 days without a regular season game dating back to last March? It was awesome. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. That's, uh, that's why we do what we do, you know, and, and when there's meaning behind the game, and it's just a lot of fun. Like, I, the words can't describe it unless you've lived it. And just to see the guys' excitement this morning at morning skate and getting on the bus and, and understanding this is real now. So um, it was awesome. Zach Erdahl, a story up front for your team. He had two goals in the game. He led you in scoring through the first nine minutes of this one, a rap chance along the near side post, and then the shorty using what he does best, keeping his feet moving, starts in the defensive zone. What can you say about number six's game tonight? He was awesome. And when he's skating like that, like he's, <laughs> I don't know how many guys can skate with him, you know, and, and uh, he's got the offensive tools. He, he can finish, obviously, at two tonight, but um, you know, you, you can just see the growth in him from year one to, to the beginning here of year two for him here in Lincoln. And um, there's a reason why he has a letter on his jersey. Um, he, he's the guy that's vocal every day. He brings it every single day. And uh, what you guys saw tonight is, is what we get to see every day. You guys allowed 10 power play goals against in the preseason. You were dominant on the PK tonight. What were the elements that led to your success on the five on four? We had structure. Um, first four games in the preseason we didn't even talk about our penalty kill and, and we've spent the last couple weeks kind of implementing our structure in, in all three phases uh, with, with face-offs and uh, our four check up the ice um, and then in zone uh, with with how we want to be against their one three one and you know i think uh the, the results are good I think they had some chances that we have to kind of go back and look at and, and, and make sure that we're cleaning up. But, you know, it's, it's a story of the game, the special teams. And, and we saw it there in the second period. You know, we, we have a one nothing lead, and, and we finally get a power play. And I think they had more shots on our net than, than our power play did on theirs. And, and then they quickly score after that 5-on-5. Five five. And, you know, that's a great lesson for a young group to learn that yeah, special teams is the difference. You know, it's it's... Tonight's a one-goal game, and at the end of the year, we'll look back and see how many one-goal games we were in, and yeah, the difference between winning and losing is, is the special teams. The chances for Tri-City, you alluded to them in that last answer, but Ryan Ouellette, over 25 saves in this one, and a lot of them were man or odd man opportunities. What did you see from Ouellette in the preseason when he stopped 21-23 against you, which led to you picking him up? and. What a first game for him, too, keeping you guys alive the whole way. The calming influence. He's a 20-year-old. He's uncommitted. He's hungry. He's, you know, desperate to get himself a college scholarship. And I, I, I quite don't quite understand why he doesn't have one. But, um, but you saw it. Like, in all those saves, he's calm. Like, there's no panic. He, he fights for his sight lines. He tracks the puck extremely well. And, you know, a couple of them just hit him. But that's a testament to his positioning. And his ability to read the play and uh, hey when you spend you know nine months with with your opponent you kind of know what they're like too right and their tendencies and all that so um it's just it sucks that we couldn't you know finish it off for him because if there was one guy in the building that deserved to win a hockey game it was it was our goaltender and yeah, we're extremely proud of his performance and yeah we'll get the next one for him one last question for you mike so thanks again for doing this the goal everybody wants to talk about, an overtime Victor Chernetsky in there, his first USHL goal. But I want to talk about the chance from Dominic James. And when it goes the other way like that and ends up in the back of your nets, you can see you are a player. He wears it on his face. So what type of learning lesson is that for Dom, knowing that he's going to get more opportunities? He had two goals in the regular season last year, and he's one of your most offensively gifted players in terms of his puck handling. But the puck didn't go his way. But what can that teach him in the next 54 games of the regular season and moving on to playoffs? Just learn. I mean, that, that's what we're here for. At the end of the day, our job is to help these kids grow and learn on the ice and off the ice. And he made a great move there at the blue line to, to spring himself for a little mini breakaway. And I had the best view, I think, on the bench. And I literally saw the puck get up on edge and just roll away from him. You know, and, and how many times is that going to happen again? <laughs> Probably not, um, you know. So he's just gotta, he's gotta move on. At the end of the day, like he made a great play. It is what it is, and he worked himself back on the back check. He, he tried to make a play on the defensive side of it. So, you know, at the end of the day, these kids are, 
they're kids. Like they're they're growing up and the growth we've seen in the last two weeks from these guys since the last time we were in this building um, in the depths of hell uh, is what it felt like. So, uh, it, like we told them after the game, we're proud of them. You know, at the end of the day, like we do we want to win every game? Yes, we do. And I've said that before, but it's about our process. And for the most part, our process was good. And, and I know people are going to look and say that we had, what, eight or nine shots on net, but that's this building. I will tell you right now, I'm, we, we had 17 to 19 shots on, on net tonight. And, um, you know, I'm proud of our guys. We're, we're getting better every day. And, and we don't know what our next game is going to be. Yeah, it's the hand we're dealt right now. We're finding positives in every negative. And yeah, we're going to attack Monday and, and, and get better on Monday and, and do the following thing on Tuesday and every day until we play our next game.